There's a secret to telling bonobos and chimps apart. Bonobos are stylish. If the muscled animal you're looking at has parted hair and walks with a swagger, you're probably looking at a bonobo. Shaggy hair? Probably a chimp. Okay, things might not be that easy. It took biologists years to think of the two as separate species. Both of them live in sub-Saharan Africa. Neither is a particularly good swimmer. They tend to sink, so the Congo River is a pretty good barrier between them. Now, the river shifted course two million years ago, which split the ancestor of chimps and bonobos apart. North of the river tends to get less rainfall, so the chimps have to move around a little bit more to get to the food. They both have the long hands and arms of a tree climber, which doesn't really do them much favors when it comes to trying to swim across 200 meter wide, gigantic river. Anyway, the real secret to telling the two apart is in the behavior. The structure of the group and the type of bonds that they tend to form differs wildly between the two species. Chimps have a hierarchical political structure that they work out through displays, greetings, attacks, and reconciliations. The strongest relationship in a chimp colony is the bond between males to control the group, with the group selecting various individuals that they feel represent their interest. Uh, less alpha wolf, more Machiavelli. Sex with chimps only occurs during estrus, which I'm sure the Puritans would find quite cool. But instead of having a belt buckle on the hat, chimps have this massive pink swelling that advertises that they're ready. Uh, chimps also tend to be much more aggressive than bonobos on average, and they tend to hunt for food and hunt for sport, and also put other chimps out of the neighboring territories. Bonobos are different. The strongest bonds that bonobos form are between female apes, and they tend to support these with sex. Adult females can also call in support with their children. It, it's not necessarily that the, the female bonobos are stronger than the males. The, the males tend to be bigger and stronger on average, but they can't call in the same level of support. So fights between bonobos tend to radiate out from female group members, and they tend to end with some sort of grooming or sexual act. <laughs> Uh, if you watch them long enough, you probably will see them kind of try to distract each other for food. You know, if there's like a, a tasty piece of apple sitting there, uh, you can bet that they will try to get that piece of apple using all the tricks that they know. Some primatologists point to the richer environment south of the Congo keeping the group together more, which stresses group cohesion, but the jury is still out on that. So why worry about apes? Well, people are apes. We're, we're pretty close. I've, I've never met a person who wasn't interested in looking at other people. But when you look at other people, you, you come up with people explanations, you know. Personality or culture. Wordy explanations. Uh, the, the apes don't have words, so you don't have the same sort of problem. You have to explain what they did without them having words to do it. And then you have to think of the human behavior that you see in your daily life as having probably the same sort of foundation. Uh, this can cause a lot of problems. Uh, when, when people found out that chimps were not as friendly as they assumed, they didn't really think of it like it was an animal doing an animal thing. They thought chimps are close to humans so this evil that the chimps are doing must be it must be that human nature is to be evil but we're not chimps and we're quite a bit further descended from them and maybe look around a little bit more <laughs>